I am going to take you guys through a carnivore bodybuilding what I eat in a day. And I've been doing two meals for the past few months. As many of you know, I've been lifting weights to prove some naysayers wrong. Mostly raw foods, uh, the one consistency being I've increased my caloric intake drastically. My breakfast has looked pretty consistent. You know, I always have kefir, uh, which is a fermented milk product to help build up my gut microbiome. I've always had yogurt, same reason, you know, both pretty high calorie foods, you know, both great in the morning, don't require prep, uh, lots of milk as well, eggs here and there, I've been doing more eggs over the past few weeks, I noticed the performance improvements with them, the cholesterol helps, the choline helps a lot, of course they have plenty of fat soluble vitamins, plenty of nutrients, I do need to have meat at least once or twice a day, it's winter now, it's much colder outside. Dairy does not have the thermogenic properties that meat has. And whether you're eating raw meat or cooked meat, in order to warm up for the winter, you have to have some. Uh, here I actually have a venison rack uh, that we have on Frankie's Free Range Meat. Uh, the past few times I've eaten this, uh, I've diced it up really tiny, done some steak tartare. I think that's what we'll do today as well. And on and off, I've been having some raw cheeses as well. Uh, this is actually a raw sheep manchego. Uh, we have this on Frankie's Free Range Meat. And guys, I buy raw cheese from local farms all the time. And for some reason, they're never as good as the commercial producers. Just like the aromatics, the flavor of, but we'll get into that later. Now, yesterday, I actually scrambled up some eggs. I grated some cheese in them. You know, really, really delicious. That's what I had yesterday. And I was inclined to do that again with some lamb brains scrambled in there. But... I'm a little tired today. I didn't sleep much last night. I was writing a lot of video scripts, doing a lot of work. And when I'm tired, I find that doing only raw meals keeps me going for the day. If I have too much cooked food, I get a little tired, uh, but it usually doesn't make too much of a deal. And I decided to break out the blender, I think for the first time in like, I don't know how long. I've never blended a meal on the carnivore diet. I think we're gonna do a raw egg and milk smoothie. I'm really looking forward to that. But first, I'm going to have a glass of kefir, I'm going to have a few bites of cheese, and I'm thinking in this smoothie, we're just going to do eggs, milk, and a little bit of honey. And then I guess maybe we should do the steak tartare first to have some solid foods in my stomach. Uh, you know, I like having the kefir and the cheese on an empty stomach, then I like getting some meat in there, and then the milk and the eggs and the fresh absorbable nutrients come in after I have some solid food in there so that it all digests consistently. So kefir starts with a yeast culture that looks like lumps, which is why I'm straining it out here. And what I actually like doing is taking these lumps and I'll eat some of them for the probiotic bacteria. I try not to eat too much cheese, you know, mainly because I have so much other food here today, uh, but I'll have a couple bites of this. So we got the cheese, we got our kefir, we got our kefir grains. So there's the start of our meal. I know I said I did venison tartare the past few days, but since I'm putting the eggs in the smoothie whole, I might just pan sear a few of these chops. I think that's what I want to do. Now these are really nicely butchered. So I hate to just dice this up. And I find that one of these racks is enough meat for the whole day, maybe even two days sometimes, depending on how much dairy I have. You know, we don't even have to, I don't feel like cooking these. So we'll just eat them like this. Cheese, kefir, venison, first part of the meal. I actually let this goat milk sit on the counter overnight just so it warmed up to room temperature. I don't wanna do like a cup and a half of goat milk, 12 ounces. Crack three duck eggs in there. I have some vanilla powder, so I'm gonna put a pinch. Tiny bit of salt just to bring out the flavor. And then I want maybe a teaspoon of honey. Let that sit while I eat my first few parts of the meal. Keep in mind guys, I've never done this smoothie before for this bodybuilding stuff, but I have had identical meals because, you know, I'll take a tablespoon of honey, I'll put it in some yogurt, I'll have the egg yolks on the tartare, and then I will drink milk after the meal on its own. So I've had every individual component in this shake before many times as part of my initial meal, just not as nice and tasty. So first, Let's have our kefir grains. 
So here we have the grains. They're kind of weird and they have this kind of like soft, almost gummy texture. I just swallow them. Kind of weird. And then I drink the kefir. I just love this stuff, man. It's like slight alcoholic tinge. Not something you really want to drink a lot of. Eight ounces, good to go. Even though yogurt is slightly fermented, the vitamin K2 content is nowhere near that of cheese. Because, you know, this cheese is aged for months and months and months, even years, uh, where yogurt's only a several day fermentation. If I can only eat one food, I just like cheese so much. It's like I crave it. Like, I will eat cheese every day until I'm sick. I think the reason a lot of people crave cheese is because they have a K2 deficiency. And cheese is usually the only high quality animal food present in their diet. And guys, I've been drinking like half a gallon of goat milk every day for two weeks now. Minimal acne. Sometimes I'll break out a little bit, but we figured out the dairy allergy for the most part. Now I'm just curious if I can try cow dairy too. Despite bodybuilding, Despite trying to gain weight, I never overeat. I'm not forcing myself to eat this. Just to appetite, very enjoyable. I like the venison because it's lean. Very tender, goes down so easily. can taste the uh, the wildness in the animal. I'm pretty full, so I'll save this one for later. Man, compared to beef, this venison has like, it's so complex. Frankie's converted to the vegan side. This is really good. I taste the vanilla and there's very, it's only like a teaspoon of honey in there. It really tastes like ice cream. Uh, that's a very effective tool to increase your caloric intake because you guys saw, I drank the kefir, I had the cheese, I had the venison. I was like, yeah, I'm kind of full. And I take a sip of this and it's delicious. So just that tiny bit of honey, tiny bit of vanilla, increase the palatability to the point where I can get in several hundred more calories of nutrition, protein, cholesterol, vitamins, and energy. You know, my body probably doesn't need it from a nutrient perspective, but from the weight gaining perspective, it definitely helps. So I'm gonna finish that. I think I'm gonna go to the gym, work out a little bit, and we'll see what we're gonna have for dinner later. I'll show you guys my fridge though, uh, just so you guys, oh, you know what I forgot? Royal jelly. So I've never actually tried royal jelly outside of this week. And I saw they were selling it fresh on Amazon and I was assuming it was gonna taste really good or something, so I bought some. It was like $35 for this little jar. But it's kinda disgusting. And Royal Jelly has like a lot of nutrients, amino acids, minerals for the queen. And it was only fed to the queen. But this stuff tastes like battery acid or something. It's wild, wild. Oh man, I wish they had like a, a broken down nutrient facts on this. I wonder if you ate like a whole jar of this on an empty stomach, how you would feel. Maybe I could like run 10 miles straight. Doesn't taste good. I tried it once the other day. Not sure if I really felt a difference. Am I gonna spend $40 on it again? I don't know, I'll do some research. I don't usually do this, but yesterday I tried it and I did get a little bit of an energy boost. Uh, instead of water at the gym, I'm gonna try some milk. And I noticed this is okay with goat milk. The sheep milk is a little too heavy and high in calories, so it doesn't actually hydrate me. Even this yesterday didn't seem to do that great of a job, but I'll try it again. If not, maybe next time I'll mix some eggs in it as well. So I'll just take a glass bottle, fill it up. Milk's room temperature. 
Don't really chug it or anything though, just take sips. Mr. Clean is here. I drank about a liter of milk at the gym, that whole big glass bottle. Then I had like two or three more cups throughout the day. I think I've almost drank a gallon of goat milk today and I'm feeling pretty good. I uh, just got a delivery from my buddy Abdul and we have a plethora of raw dairy and some meat from Frankie's Syringe Meat, of course. Uh, so these eggs are duck eggs. Uh, this is actually some cow yogurt, that's for my sister. Uh, but I've been doing some duck eggs lately, I've been feeling pretty good. Uh, on the left here I have some chuck steaks. Back here I have some Greek goat yogurt from one farm. Uh, this is Greek goat yogurt from another farm. That's some more goat milk, some more goat milk. Uh, here I have some ground meat from Frankie Syringe Meat. And here we also have some halloumi cheese from Frankie Syringe Meat. This is like super salty. We're gonna get a different brand, but it's really, really good. You put this in a pan, you sear it. I ate this whole brick the other day. I was like, I was in heaven. Really amazing stuff. I had some beef belly I was planning on showing you guys today. Uh, this is our Wagyu beef belly, super duper tender. But I just don't really feel like having some meat tonight. Um, here we have our lamb brains. This is how they come. Six little cute lamb brains. I usually have one or two of these in the morning. Uh, one of my favorite foods. Uh, but tonight, I'm gonna have some yogurt. You know, I'm not too hungry. Drank a lot of milk today. Um, haven't been able to sleep uh, when I have too much meat at night. Some of you guys know I was having the iron issues uh, in my liver. Uh, so less red meat at night, better for sleeping. So we got some yogurt. Let's go back upstairs. So in my little corner over here, I have some yogurt left over from yesterday that I'll finish off. I added some milk to my keeper earlier so that I have some more kefir for tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna put any honey in the yogurt. Eh, I'll put some honey in the yogurt tonight. I deserve it, I've been working so hard. So I'll take the yogurt out of the jar. I didn't really elaborate on the nutrients earlier like I normally do. Uh, we have the venison, which was mostly protein and minerals. Of course, egg yolks have just about every fat soluble vitamin and mineral your body needs. Also has preformed EPA and DHA. Uh, dairy is where we get a large amount of fat soluble vitamins. You know, granted it's raw grass fed dairy. And that's why I like dairy so much. It's very approachable. It's very high in vitamins. Super delicious food. High in calories. Probiotic bacteria. Really can't beat the dairy on that front. Uh, there's nothing lacking in the diet today considering the ridiculous amount of goat milk we drank. You know, you drink half a gallon of goat milk, you're gonna get every vitamin your body needs besides iron and preformed omega-3s, which we got in the meat, which we got in the eggs. So diet is easily nutritionally complete. Could we have gotten a little more K2 with some more cheese? Eh. You know, we drank the kefir too. I don't really think it's needed. I think all of the nutrients are, are super high. You know, you're not gonna get anywhere close to this amount of nutrients without having grass-fed dairy in your diet. It's very hard to do. You know, I like the yogurt better when it's cold. Room temperature, it does digest a little better though. But the texture is much firmer out of the fridge, which I like. Really looking forward to hopefully doing raw dairy next year with Frankie's who me, but we'll see. Can you add a couple of tablespoons of honey to some yogurt? You don't really need it. Just need a tiny, tiny bit just to sweeten it up a little bit. Maybe like two or three teaspoons. If I'm feeling like a real piggy, I'll put a little salt in here too. It really brings out the flavors, but. This is so good. Honestly, I think I like yogurt with honey better than I like ice cream. Cause you have that like sour flavor of the yogurt that really contrasts the honey. I could eat like a gallon of this. What's the name for a chubby twink? I'm not gonna be a twink anymore after today. Who knew raw carnivore could be so approachable? I mean, outside of eating that haunch of venison earlier. So thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully you've learned a thing or two about the carnivore diet, what nutrients you need to get, what foods I like eating. I'll try to do some more detailed stuff in the future. I'll take you guys through more of my day. Maybe I'll show you some secret foods I had today that I didn't, well, include in the video, but 
I gotta keep a little something to myself. I know I mentioned a few things that were on Frankie's syringe meat. I think I'll put that venison up just for the holidays. We're probably not gonna have it in the future. Uh, so definitely check out Frankie's freerangemeat.com. Uh, we have all the raw cheeses by the pound now, pretty much at supermarket prices, very affordable, very high quality. Uh, you can also go to Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. And if you wanna reach out to me for a consultation, go to frank-defano.com. If you wanna develop more of an understanding of adding high quality, nutrient dense animal foods to your diet. Thanks again for joining me guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm gonna turn into a goat. Thank you.